Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the read code question construct string from binary tree. Okay, so let me explain with this example. So this comes from example one. So description said pre-order traversal way. So we should traverse the tree in pre-order way. And uh, we need to create an output string with node value and the parentheses like this. So let's analyze this output uh, string. So this one is a root node, right? And uh, this two is left child of a root node. And uh, this four is a left child of this two, right? Then this three is a right child of root node. So uh, let me summarize um, this. So uh, when we have a right child, so like uh, here, so in this case, uh, we should create uh, like a root and a left and a right, right? So this, this root is one and uh, this left is two and this right is three. And then uh, if we don't have right child, so for example, this subtree, so in this case, we should create output string like this. So like a root and uh, only left, no right. So in this case, so root is two, so and the left is four. So we, we will try to create uh, uh, these two types of string and uh, we uh, combine everything. So we will repeat uh, uh, this process. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, return dexfast search and uh, passing the root node. And uh, let's create a dexfast search as an inner function and uh, root. And uh, first of all, check base case if not root. So just return empty string. And if uh, root dot right. So let me explain why we check right child first later. But uh, let me finish the coding. So in this case, return string and root dot bar plus um, open parentheses and plus test for search and the root dot right no left plus and uh, clo close open and uh, plus left for search and uh, root dot uh, right and then uh, close uh, if root dot left so in that case so let me copy this and then remove this if not the case, return string and uh, root dot bar. Yeah, I think that's it. So let me explain why we need to check uh, right child first. So that's because um, um, left child is always before right child in the output string, right? So uh, what if we check left child first? I mean, like this. and. Uh, what if we, if we have um, both children? So in the case, uh, this statement is, if statement is true, right? So we will create uh, this uh, string, but um, uh, there is no string for right child, right? So now we have uh, both children. So that's why we will, um, we will get a wrong string. So that's why we need to check right child first. Then if we don't have right child, and then check left child. And then if we have left child, we will create uh, this string. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be on the of n. So because uh, each node is visited exactly once, so time complexity is O n, so where n is number of nodes in the tree. And the space complexity is also on the of n. In the worst case, we have like a skewed tree. So that's why. So for someone who doesn't understand the recursion process, so I created create like a step-by-step -step, uh, recursion process. So let's see one by one. So we start from one. 
right here. And uh, we have right child. So uh, we will um, create uh, this string. So root bar is one. And uh, next, so we have right and uh, left and right. But uh, first of all, we execute um, this function. So passing the left node. So go to left. So now um, two. So root is two. So we don't have right child. So in the case, we will create uh, um, this string. And then uh, in this case, root bar is two, right? And uh, we will execute a uh, root dot left. So go to left. And uh, now we are here, uh, root four. And uh, we don't have both children. So that's why just return four. And then go back to uh, root equal two. So now, so we execute this and then uh, return four, right? So that's why now um, root dot bar is two and uh, root dot left is four. So we should return uh, like a two and four, like this uh, here. And then, so we should return this string. So now we go back to one. So root is one. And then uh, we, uh, actually, we, we've done uh, this uh, depth for such, and then that's why we check right side. So execute the right side. So we have three, right? So now uh, root is three, and uh, we don't have like a both children, so that's why we should return just three. Then um, go back to root equal one. So now root dot bar is one, and uh, root dot left is like a two four, and uh, now we return three, right? So root dot right is three, and it's done. So that's why output is like a one, two, and four, and three, like this. So I hope this will help you understand the like a recursion process. This is a step-by-step -step algorithm uh, with my solution code. I hope this will help you understand my solution code deeply. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.